Hello and welcome back to Sprite Guard Plays Hyper Rogue. This is version 8.3. There has been a major update, really exciting stuff. I won't be able to show all of it. And given my track record with uh, the new lands that have been uh, added in the past, this may very well be the end of it. Or the end of uh, series 26. But let us see how much we can find. Ah! One of the first changes that we will be able to take a look at is uh, that the uh, Camelot, uh, the knights, have been given more dialogue. I'm not sure what all they say, and I'm not sure how much of it uh, we can see without actually finishing the quest, but let's see. Find the Holy Grail to become one of us. The Holy Grail is in the center of the round table. I enjoy watching the hyperbug battles. Have you visited a temple in Relia? Nice castle, eh? Our table seats, um, 22,860,754 knights. Uh, there are, oh my goodness, let's see, 31,659,398 floor tiles inside our table. Have you tried to take a boat and go into the ocean? Try it. When I visited the palace, a mouse wanted me to go somewhere. So lots of... I wonder what was there. Lots of hints about the rest of the game. Be careful in the Rose Garden. It is beautiful but very dangerous. Yep, I, I know that from experience. Thank you very much for talking and have a great rest of your day. And then it starts over. That's cool! That is, that is quite nice. Let us head out of here and uh, see if we can find one of the new areas. So, it looks like the first new area that we have found is actually one of the scariest. You need to um, kill 20 different kinds of creature in order to get into the Dragon Chasms. Dragons are powerful monsters. They are slow but evil and love to pick on creatures who are even slower than them. They must be stopped. A dragon moves each two turns. It may attack with all its segments or move its whole body forwards or backwards. It may also move a frontal part backwards. To kill a dragon, you need to hit each of its segments. The head will regenerate on the turns the dragon is not moving, so you'll usually have to hit it with your last attack. Otherwise, if the head is healthy, it may breathe fire at range 3, losing the hit point. Killing the dragon gives you treasure. Different kills required 20. Oh boy. So, yeah, we have uh, clearly more than 20 different kills. I'm not sure, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So, not even the first column is 20. Looks like uh, the second column we have like 16-ish, 15-ish. So we have killed quite a lot of different kinds of monsters. So we can p poke our head in here with the orb of speed. We don't have very much of it left. But we can take a look around. There is a dragon. And uh, it is pretty scary. Let's see how it moves. Let's see, it starts up. And then it moves its whole self forward. So we're going to try and avoid its head. And over here we actually have a baby tortoise. And uh, the baby tortoises, I believe, were actually supposed to rescue them and bring them to the Galapagos. But, uh, oh my goodness, the dragon has breathed fire at us. So uh, we're going to have to get out of the way and really be careful around this guy. So it looks like uh, he is charging up to move again. There he goes. Let's see if we can build, pick up this baby tortoise. Poor baby tortoise, where is your family? That is something that I would like to find out as quickly as possible. 
and uh, hopefully escape. And hey, look at this! We have made it into the uh, Crossroads 4, new achievement, Hyperbolic Traveler Reach the Crossroads 4. And it looks like we dropped the baby tortoise when we uh, crossed it, so it looks like to get to the Galapagos we might have to stay in the Dragon Chasms. But we're going to pick up that Orb of Speed, that will be extremely useful. Let us see where we can get to, and there is the Galapagos. So, the Galapagos is really interesting. Galapagos is the land of the tortoises. They are very slow, which allows the dragons to pick on them by stealing and eating their young. Bring the baby tortoises back, but there is a catch. The, the tortoises come in many varieties, depending on the part of Galapagos they live in. There are 21 binary environmental factors, and thus, uh, 20, let's see, no, 2 million, 97,152 varieties. You'll have to find a tortoise which matches the baby exactly. Tortoises move each three turns, and attacks only stun them. Bringing back a baby tortoise counts as five treasures. The more factors agree in the given location of Galapagos, the brighter it is shown on your screen. Accessible only from the Dragon Chasms, find a baby tortoise in the Dragon Chasms. So now we can look, and it looks like the ground is getting lighter over this way. Let's see, so there's C and a big tree. Can we cut it down? We can cut down the trees, okay. And uh, we can see that this tortoise has a different pattern on its shell. And uh, we can go around it. They seem to be pretty friendly. And we can make our way uh, into areas that are lighter on our screen and see if we can find tortoises that match better. It looks like this one only has three light spots, but it has a light kind of uh, ring around its shell. And so we will have to continue to move into lighter territories. And uh, we may at some times have to step from lighter territories to uh, darker ones in order to get to lighter ones. And here we have 16 and 17 that we can get to. And then from here, let's see. Uh, it looks like from here we, we don't have an easy way of getting to 18. So that is a little bit troubling, but it looks like... Uh, from here, we can get over to this one, back into another 17, and from this 17, we can reach an 18. And uh, from the 18, it looks like there's a 20 over or a 19 and a 20 over here. So we can head over this way. We'll have to loop through a couple of other places, though. And now we're in a 20, but we don't see a 21 anywhere nearby. And so, uh, we can say hello to these guys. Ah, so tortoises are hostile, they're just very slow. And that one actually looks like a match. Ah, no, it's an 18 of 21, I guess. Uh, there might be some, some more variation in the shell colors. Ah, oh, it looks like the, the head color is actually another thing that varies. So we're going to have to step out and then back into another land, try and find our way to a better match, and I'm not seeing one. So we may have to go of adventuring even further afield. Another crossroads type 4 for us. Looks like we have a little bit of a gradient over here, but we have quite a few turtles after us. And uh, we're in a, once again, in a 20 of 21. And once again, kind of finding a dead end, not really seeing uh, any improvements that we can make here. So it looks like we may have to kind of go back out into the territories that are less of a good match and hope that we can find our way to a better match somewhere else. And it's nice that we can move so much faster than the tortoises that they are not a major threat. But it's a little bit discouraging how 
uh, how far off the uh, the home for this baby tortoise seems to be. And once again, not really seeing any place for us to go. And uh, we have actually quite a lot of tortoises after us now. Let's see, this looks promising-ish. Um, lots and lots of tortoises. All, all after us. Let's see, two star, stun him. Um, oh, that one's ready to move. That one's not. Uh, stun you, stun you, move, move, flee, stun you. Uh, back in a 19 once again. Ah, there's a 20 over there. Stun you, stun you, stun you. And uh, now we're back in a 20 and once again not seeing an exit into a 21. Though it looks like it continues off for quite some time in this direction. And it looks like it branches a bit, so I may actually be kind of misreading the colors a little bit. I can't really tell if there are... Like, it looks like we're at a dead end here. Um, so I can't really tell, you know, is, is this pattern infinite or are there kind of finite areas of color and then we have to kind of find a border or land so there's another 20 over here we can pop into it and it looks like this is a 21 yeah we are now in a 21 so let's see if we can find this turtles uh, family like is are you nope okay Ah, over here. Here we go. All right. So can we... Yes! We can give you a tortoise. And now are you going to hurt us? I don't know. But uh, we got five treasures for that. That's pretty cool. So we have uh, successfully completed one of one of the quests, one of the new quests, without dying. That's... Um, better than I expected. And we have an orb of flash we can pick up here. So now we can see about tussling with a dragon. And, um, looks like we may need to use the orb of flash there. Boy, that did not hurt the dragon hardly at all. And uh, it looks like uh, we're going to have a very difficult time of this. We're going to have to be very careful. And probably attack it from the tail first. And uh, it's, it's not really clear what exactly we're accomplishing. It seems like we're we're coloring its parts, but we're not actually um, damaging them in the way that I expected. And so, uh, getting these um, middle segments, the segments that don't move toward us, is going to be a bit trickier than getting the segments uh, that do move. And we can go like that. And we can step up next to it, but then it would attack us on the next move. And so uh, it's going to take probably a different approach. An orb would certainly help us, um, but it seems like in order to get near any of the undamaged segments at this point, we have to move up to it on one turn and then hit it and I just don't see how we can do both of those things now if we continue to circle around it here we might actually be able to make it back to that orb of flash but it's not really clear whether or not that will be feasible there's also a crossroads that we can um, think about going into 
And let's see, there's some eternal fire over here. There's our orb of flash. So we can use this orb of flash, I think, to damage some of these body segments if we are real careful. And uh, we're going to have to use some strategy here. Let's see. Gotta remember what my strategy is for um, battling... Let's see. This should kill the whole thing at once. There we go. And they have created fires that will last for five turns. And they have dropped some dragon scales. New achievement, Dragon Slayer. Collect a dragon scale. And it looks like we have collected three of those, but this one's going to last a lot longer. And so, you know, we can wait here. But uh, it's going to take a very long time. We are at risk of monsters coming either from the crossroads from that dry forest, which a dry forest bordering on the Dragon Chasm seems like a recipe for disaster. Um, or another dragon coming. And so waiting for the, uh, the head fire to burn down is a little bit risky, but as long as we keep an eye on the edge of the screen and make sure that there's nothing coming at us. There, we can wait for it and pick it up. And so we have three dragon scales and uh, five turtle treasures. And uh, we've seen the crossroads type four, which means we have unlocked chaos mode. And we now have another dragon after us, which is a little bit frightening. But we have an orb of shielding over here that we can use to take it on. And so we just need to kind of lure it over here uh, without letting its fire fall on the Orb of Shielding. And then uh, we can just start attacking it. And uh, it's not really clear uh, what all segments we've hit. But it actually, it looks like, so it looks like I was actually misinterpreting it. And uh, I, I, I realize now how badly I was misreading it. The segments, the body segments that we have to hit are just the, the parts that move. The bridges between them, we don't have any way of hitting them. And so I don't think we even have to worry about that. And so... Uh, all we have to do is... Hit the segments. Uh, there's two more segments that we have to hit, and then the head. And let's see, we have an orb of speed over here. That actually should be sufficient. What else do we have? Orb of earth, not very helpful. But um, there's one more segment, so now uh, we have still one segment to go, and we're going to have to kind of make that segment accessible. Uh, before we can cut into it. So let's see. We're going to wait for it to move again. And then we're going to... S oh! That was very foolish of me. So my, uh, my track record with new lands uh, continues to be not great. But in uh, Series 27, we will be trying to take on the dragons, save the baby tortoises... Uh, and try not to do really silly stuff like that. That's just such a bad idea. I I th was thinking, oh, you know, we'll just run up to it, and, you know, we have the orb of speed, so we'll be able to get there. But then once we're there, we can't escape. And that was, that was very silly. Uh, but there is, uh, there's quite a lot of quite a lot of challenge here it's going to be very interesting and taking uh taking these guys on without orbs uh is going to be a really immense challenge that i am really looking forward to so that is all going to be coming up in the near future 
Until then, thank you very much for watching, and have a great rest of your day.